What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Nitro Gaming. Trailblazers Team 1 is here. It is insane. It's been probably the best promo we've seen so far in FC25. Now, I do like Road to the Knockout because it's a dynamic promo. Trailblazers is not a dynamic promo, but in terms of the coins we have made already with Trailblazers, I'll show you that in a second. But EA made a mistake yesterday in the objectives, a mistake so monumental that it crashed the market for left wing, right wing, and center attacking mid players. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not the only playing factor into that, but this Trailblazers loan card that you get for just completing the daily win games completionist twice was a Christian Pulisic that you got for 96 days. Like you literally got him for months on end. And by the time that you would run out of time with the Christian Pulisic, he'd be outdated in the game anyway. So everybody started selling their left wing, their right wing, uh, their, their center attacking mid players in the game and actually started to pick up Milan links. Unironically, the Tamori card that we lost a ton of coins on earlier this week went up in price briefly because of this mistake from EA. But they have fixed it, and now it's only available for four days. But this, combined with the release of the new squad building challenge, which is Rafinha's Trailblazer. You saw him briefly right there. A lot of people are doing it. It is expensive. It reminds me of that Rodrigo SBC from last year during Trailblazers, 87 rated uh, La Liga. Brazilian, right wing, left wing, four star, four star, night or 82 passing. A lot of similarities between this and the Rodrigo SBC last year. But these combinations of, of right wing, left wing content actually have caused that market to crash in price. But let's go ahead and talk not only about the cards that have gone down, but the cards that are about to go up. And if you need coins to do this Rafinha SBC, then check out Loot Bar. Not only are they already cheaper than the other platforms, but when you use my code NITRO, you're gonna get another 8% off of that and 5% more coins than what you bought. You can even buy specific players on their site now too. It has great reviews, big creators use it, and you get your coins within a few minutes. So if you need quick coins, Loot Bar is the place to go. This new Trailblazers team features cards like 93 Halland, 92 Aitana Bonmati, you've got 88 Cole Palmer, and then of course the 86 Christian Pulisic, who I think is very expensive on the game. I think it's just the American hype because everybody in the USA wants that card. He hasn't gotten an upgrade yet this year. He is expensive. I wouldn't suggest touching that card too much, but I flipped so many of these Trailblazers because Friday Flips was absolutely incredible. In fact, this Aitana Bonmati right here, we got for 2050 k which means that we sold for five or 400 k more than what we got her for, which is about 300 k profit. Another 100 k profit on Palmer, a little bit on Bastoni. Could have made more on him if we held longer, but that's the name of the game. Friday Flipping is high risk. You get in, you get out, you make a lot of coins, or you lose a lot of coins. You can lose a lot of coins doing this. Yesterday was not one of those days. We made bank. And of course, if you guys wanted to keep up with it, we did a live stream over on twitch.tv, uh, twitch.tv slash nitro underscore football. It's down in the description, but you can also get these uh, alerts sent straight to your phone on when to buy, what to buy it for. Players like Mingeza, 63K went up to 90. Uh, you know, Banda, 57 went up to actually higher than 74. We made, uh, we got that card to sell for like 86, 85K. Um, you've got Garcia from 30 to 47k you had Bina from 29 to 45k and that's the next level foot trading service which is always linked to my description you can get in that uh, I believe yeah the monthly deals are all gone you can't get in for the year deal or the monthly deal anymore but you can get in for a two-week trial for five euros that is still active over on the uh, next level foot trading. So that link will be down in the description if you want those notifications sent uh, straight to your phone but we made a lot of profit on these cards, and I'm very happy with these flips. We made probably about 600k on these flips yesterday, and we're starting to get into a new investment, which is Julian Brent. I only have two right now. I'll probably buy more over the next course of the next few hours. I was going to buy yesterday, and I told you guys that yesterday was probably the time to buy these cards, but I was obviously active with other flipping uh, activities at the time. I was doing other things with the coins. Now it's time to really get my coins invested, which means I'm going to be a little bit late. Some of you guys probably already did invest in these cards, which is fantastic, um, but I'm going to be a little bit late on these investments, and some of you guys probably going to be a little late as well. But we've got a Girassi SBC on the way. Now, this was leaked as a trailblazer yesterday. It's now a moment SBC. It, I mean, I assume it'll be somewhat similar. 
Um, but this Girassi SBC is not going to be anything spectacular. But if they make it cheap enough, they make it super affordable, then what you could see is some links to this card go up in price. And so I did this little squad builder right here. And these are my favorite cards for it. Julian Brandt at 50,000 coins. I would assume he's he's not 50K right now. That's probably a lie. Uh, well, it looks like he's you know 49K according to Footbin. I think he's about 53 right now. That's probably more accurate. And then Sabitzer, who is rising like crazy. Uh, as he's gone out of packs, as you can see, he's gone from 18,000 coins. And just in the last hour, he's gone from 22 to 24. I don't have any. I'm probably not going to spend 24. But if he goes back down to 22, don't be afraid to get in. Uh, and then Adi Yami, who was in Team of the Week 1, and he was super um, good at the very beginning of the game with the speed boost. I used him in my team. After the speed boost update, he dropped down to like 90k. He's been sitting there since. He's still at 90,000 coins. I think that could see a little bit of a rebound with this Girassi SBC, depending on how good the SBC and the card is. Because like, if, it, if the card is not that good, if he doesn't have 80 pace at least, I don't see a lot of people actually using the card. But if they boost his pace to like 84, then yeah, it probably could be a pretty good card. So that's just kind of up to what EA do on the Girassi SBC. That's not the only SBC we're going to get. We're also going to get Jonathan David. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know if this is today or tomorrow or the next day. It'll come soon. But Jonathan David also brings Lille links and Canadian links. So maybe Alfonso Davies with a little bit of a, a, a jump because of Jonathan David. David. Uh, but what you can do is you can always go to Squad Builder. You can you can throw that player into the team, Jonathan David, and then you just click on the light bulb over on Footbin. And uh, when you use this Squad Builder on Footbin, Squad Builder on Footbin, you can find cards that link to it really well. You have Eskit. Uh, Eustakow at center mid. I mean, that's not bad. He's an RTTK, which means that he's still got a dynamic promo possibility of rising in price. I'm not sure what his tracker says, though. Uh, let's see what they've done. Well, they've lost both games, but or no, they haven't lost all the games. They've won one, and their next game, he does get an upgrade. So he's going to go to, um, what is his rating now? 86. He's going to go to 87. So that'll be in a couple of weeks. He'll go to 87 rated. Uh, so not bad there. Alfonso Davies, of course, at left back is probably an option. There he is. And then if we look at just Lille links, we've got not much. Doesn't look like there's much going on for Lille this year. Any center backs? No. Okay. Well, the Canadian links could definitely work out for that. Now, if you still have a Trailblazer card from yesterday for some reason, I would suggest selling before content. Generally, these cards will drop over the course of the weekend with everybody opening their weekend league rewards. But we've got Team of the Week right now, and there's some options on here that I don't think are too bad, but I would wait until later in the day as well. As Saturday progresses, more people get Foot Champs rewards, and they'll get those guaranteed Team of the Week packs as well. And so players like Gavardi All, players like Pedri, players like Diaby are my favorite in this team. Uh, I don't know how close to Kane uh, or how close to uh, what is it fodder price Kane is, uh, but you also have Karchawi there as well as an option who could honestly do really well out of packs. We've seen so many SBCs with the NWSL for the women's cards. We have really yet to see too much for the uh, French League, which I would say is probably the next best or the best league right now for the, the women's players. Of course, you've got Liga F as well, which is the uh, the Spanish League for women. That's very good too. But this is one of the top leagues for the women's. And so I think there's going to be a shift in focus towards it at some point. I don't know when it'll be, but we've seen so much of that NWSL hype. And we've seen cards like Rodman do so well out of packs as she was, you know, in uh, packs for the first team of the week. She went from 150,000 coins all the way to 430K. Just over the last day, she has crashed back down to 300K. That, that might be... That might be like too low. Uh, we might see a rebound for this. It's very risky. I don't know if I'll buy it or not. We've obviously seen a big crash again for the left wing, right wing players. Those cards on the market are down. We, we've seen it from pretty much everybody. Usman Dembele. We'll take a look at his gold card. We'll take a look at his. Um, we'll take a look at his 87. But all of these cards are down heavy. He went from 58k to 40 yesterday. Uh, the Dembele inform went from. 
what is that, 460 to 425. That's not as much as I thought it was down. But as you can see, he was he actually peaked at 520K and hit a low point at 400K. So he did drop 110K from his peak to his valley. Uh, but on average, it looks like he went from about 480 to 420. So still a big, big drop on these cards. But I don't mean to get uh, a little bit distracted with these Team of the Week cards. Gavardi, y'all, you might see him in the 30s today. If you're looking to buy one of these cards, it's probably going to be tonight. I mean, if you bought Sunday, you're, you're still chilling. Don't worry about that. It'll still be pretty low. But I expect Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday morning, these cards to rise in price. Now, if you do invest in Team of the Week, what I've noticed is these cards drop on Wednesday when the new content and the new Team of the Week comes out. We will actually see these cards drop at that point. So as you can see, we got in uh, actually during rival rewards for this card. Uh, or no, it wasn't rival rewards. We got in during foot champs rewards for this card. We were getting him for like 13k um, for Trossard. And he actually rose to 15.5 thousand coins, which is what we sold him for on Tuesday. But on Wednesday, he went from 15k down to 13,000 coins again. Now, it might not seem like a lot, and this graph doesn't do a great job of illustrating that because of this on the left but that's a pretty significant drop going from 15.5 to you know 13.5 all the way down to it looks like 13 flat on thursday morning so these cards actually go down after they go out of pack so you can buy tomorrow saturday and do fine you're going to be good for a couple days they'll probably actually rise if you wanted to use them uh but you you probably want to sell before wednesday and then buy back before rival rewards on Thursday. That's the, the move for these team of the week cards. Now, if you weren't participating in Friday flips like I was, then you probably should have been getting in on some of these investments for RTTK too, especially those that could be getting upgraded in about a week and a half. These cards that may be one goal away or one win away from getting an upgrade. And to see that, you can go over to trackers and just see which cards are close to getting an upgrade. Now, of course, Van Dyke got an upgrade and he's about to get another. I would say, for all of these cards, they're going to rise into the hype. This Van Dyke will still, even though he's very expensive and probably out of budget for most people, he's still going to rise into the hype. After he gets that upgrade, I expect a crash. I don't expect him to actually hold that value. Now, legitimately, Liverpool have a chance of actually finishing top two in the league right now. They are perfect so far uh, with three wins, but be careful uh, with these cards after they do get that next upgrade because most of them aren't going to finish top two in the league. And if they do end up losing a match like against uh, Real Madrid, which is very possible because they are inevitable in the Champions League. And as a Dortmund fan, I experienced that last week. Uh, but these cards are probably going to crash after they get their second upgrade because I don't think that there's going to be a lot of hype for finishing top two in the league um, for most of them. Obviously, for a couple of them, they might actually have a chance. Uh, but this Jude Bellingham, he's going to get an upgrade and there's still going to be another chance of hype. Uh, but after they get both of the upgrades, that, that card is going to die out heavily because a lot of the value in these cards is not actually in the rating or the usability of it. it it's really just in the hype. It's really in the possibility of getting an upgrade. People are so hyped about them getting upgrades, and then once they finish getting upgraded, I don't want to play with you anymore, like the uh, the Toy Story uh, quote. It really happens every single year with RTTK. So um, this Havertz card actually might be a decent card to go for. Obviously, they have to play Inter Milan away. That's not easy, but he is going to end up maybe getting their third win there. He'll rise into the hype. Frimpong, ooh, what is his price right now? See, I mean, that's not bad. Uh, the closer to 600K you get, the better. And he actually was on, um, it looks like, Saturday morning, just a few hours ago, he peaked or he he hit a valley at 630 for some reason. He was very low. He's 674 right now. So he's up a little bit from a couple hours ago, but on average, he's been about this price. I think he goes probably close to 800k before his next game. I, I really wouldn't doubt it, just given the fact that um, that he might get both upgrades when they play Liverpool. If they do end up getting a win and he scores, they're going to get both upgrades. And I think just into the hype into the hype you sell. You don't actually hold into the matches, guys. Uh, Ollie Watkins got his first upgrade. He's going to get his second. So that's an example of a card that I think crashes uh, a little bit after he actually gets that upgrade, in my opinion. Now, what's his price right now? 115. He'll probably go up to 125, 130 going into the match. But then after they actually get the upgrade, he goes down. So there might be some coins to be made with this, but I don't think that it's a really safe investment because once he gets up to that 89 rated card, people are going to, to sell knowing that Aston Villa probably aren't going to finish top two. 
Um, though they don't have the toughest schedule, and they already beat Bayern Munich, who was probably the toughest team they had to play. They just got to beat Juventus at home and RB Leipzig away, and they actually might, might have a chance at it um, realistically. But uh, Diogo Jota is an SBC, so we don't got to talk about him. But I think what I've said pretty much applies to all of these cards, and that also goes mostly in terms of the fact that these uh, – you ECLs and the uh, Europa Leagues as well. Pretty much the same concept. But for the Women's Champions League, it's a little different because all they got to do is win the group stage with four different teams. And I've taken a look at some of them. And you look at Walti. And this card, it's not bad. Getting two wins is going to happen. Scoring in four different matches is probably going to happen for this Arsenal team. Are they going to win the group stage? Probably not. It doesn't look like it at this stage. But if she gets both upgrades on her card, going from 86 to 88, which is probably going to happen, guys, um, but it's not going to be for another few weeks or a month even, or maybe a little more than a month possibly, but she's 12 to 13,000 coins. And if you look at the cheapest 88 rated player in the game right now, that's about 16K. So she's going to go up 3,000 coins. And, and to be honest, 88 rated fodder is kind of low still at this point in the game by november in december 88 rated fodder is probably going to be much higher so that card could easily go up like six or seven thousand coins just in fodder price but it is a long hold maybe club stock one of them don't go heavy into an investment and there's no rush on buying that card whatsoever because it's not going to be for a while but keep that in mind fodder cards for these uh for these road to the knockouts actually might not be a bad shout. So any of those, you know, discard price 86s and uh, and and 87s, uh, even 85s possibly. 84 is honestly another shout because they'll go up to 87 pretty easily because their first upgrade goes from 84 to 86. Uh, so keep that in mind. I don't know if there's much value in Andre, but I was just using that as an example. But that's about it. That's about all I've got to talk to you guys about today. Uh, obviously, evolutions are still messed up, but there's not a ton of new news about the evolutions other than they still just don't really work. But thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you made it to the end, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.